so a lot of you guys have been asking me how I feather out my bangs, kind of how I get them to look like this. It's really super, super simple, but I wanted to show you anyway. So um, I decided, well, if I'm going to show them that, I might as well show them how I kind of get like this really pretty, like loose curls, like really big loose curls. And I like doing my hair like this a lot. And then when I style it, sometimes I leave it like that. Sometimes I will put it to the side. I'll put like, I'll grab this side and I'll grab this side, put it back here, grab a big bobby pin like that, you know, stick it in there and then like I'm good to go. And it's like, you know, a whole nother little style. So if you guys want to learn how to do this and how to, you know, have your bangs looking like that. Keep in mind your bangs do have to be kind of long, but I do show you a trick on some on how I make them look a little bit thicker and longer than they really are. So, with that being said, if you want to learn how to do it, then just keep on watching. So, as you guys can tell, I don't have short bangs anymore. I used to really keep that style a lot. I would cut my own bangs and I would cut them like every month. Um, I would always have them like right here and then just kind of do it to the side, kind of over it. As much as people don't believe me, since I love doing my hair, I really try not to damage it. So if I don't have to, you know, use the curling iron, if I don't have to use the straightener, and I can only, um, sometimes if I can just, you know, leave it to dry naturally without blow drying it, then I will. The curling iron that I use is by Conair, and it's the Infinity by Conair, and it looks like this. Basically, I'm just going to show you how to get like really nice loose curls without too much effort. So you're going to put a heat protectant, and I'm using the Matrix Sleek Look, and it looks like that. I've been using it forever. And then just kind of brush it out. My dogs are in the back, and they're sneezing because I'm in their room right now, and this is where they sleep. This is Curly. Say hi, Curly. And this is Rubio. <laughs> All I'm going to do now is just part it in half. Take a big chunky hair clip. I have, well, I have long hair, so I need something big. So usually I'll take that much. Start in the middle, twist it, and then I go up, and then I clamp it down, and as I and then I press on this, and I just kind of like release a little bit, but not too much, and then roll it up again. Do it again and again and again. and then I kind of just let it go. Put it in the middle again. It doesn't really matter, I don't know, some people like doing it inward and outward. I don't really care when it's on the bottom. I start caring more once I'm like close to the top. But yeah, no, I've heard that like curling outward is better. Bring it down. I've gotten a lot better at not leaving it on for so long. I used to be really bad at that. Flip it over. So it's not really like anything too special. Just looks like that. I'm gonna separate it again. Get a little bit more of this heat protectant. I'm gonna put some on my hands. Rub it so it's not like directly on. But I've also learned that if you start in the middle and you twist this first, and then you go ahead and you go up and you twist and you slowly clamp and twist, that you're not affecting the ends of your hair that much. It's so true. And I noticed that because my hairstylist does the same thing. So yeah, now it just looks like that. So you see how even though I didn't put so much curl on the bottom, the fact that you're putting more curl towards the top, it just, it, you can't really tell. Brushing your hair is so important when you're curling in. I think that's so overlooked because I used to be one of those people that didn't really care too much about brushing it sometimes. I would just kind of like, you know, straighten it out with my hand but I realized that the smoother the way better like obviously right but yeah turn it keep turning it see this isn't like if you don't get it your first time it's okay because it's not all that easy and then just let go I feel like you really have to have like quick fingers too if you don't want to damage your hair and be curly twisting it a lot. Now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm just going to continue doing that and I will be right back. I'll show you guys how I do my bang area. Okay, so now that I've finished everywhere else, I just haven't done this chunk right here. And like I said earlier, um, I haven't cut my bangs since like 
I don't know, September? It's been a really long time. And in September, I had them, like, up to here. Um, but not all of this is my bangs. Some of this is also, like, oops, I'm going to put that back there. Some hair that's been pulled from the back. Divide it like that. And I'm going to brush it out. Put a little bit of that heat stuff on it. I'm going to curl it out. So you want to make sure that the clamp is facing up. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. Let it go. Twist it. Let it go. Twist it. One, two, three. Let go. Now, actually I was going to do it in three sections, but let's just do it in two. This is the second section. Definitely need some hair heat protectant for this, from this because my bangs are so fried and it's so weird because I'm not used to them being fried at the end at all or having split ends since I would cut them so frequently and they'd always be fresh. For this one, since they're shorter, you're just going to slide it, kind of like curl it back, slide it a little bit, curl it like that and then brush it out as you let go. But I always play with it a little bit and then I decide, okay, I'm going to mix a little bit of hairs from here with the ones that I curled earlier. So then I'll create a new section and then just do the same thing. Okay, now it just looks like that and then the other hair isn't as bouncy. So I grab some more that I had curled earlier, brush it out, and curl it again since I don't want just like... I don't want my bangs just to look curled and everything else not, so. So really guys, there it is. You've seen my hair like this in so many of my videos. And then I just go ahead and kind of like style it, you know. I didn't, if you notice, I'd put like zero hairspray in this video, but usually I do. I guess it's just more of like a big wave, wavy look. I am trying to take care of my hair. I'm almost 21 and it's not until now that I truly, truly, truly... Um, regret ever really, you know, bleaching it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.